Aside from a chopper, this is the only way on and off of Pine Island. Hour after hour, Coast Guard boats are speeding between the chain of islands, slowly evacuating what's left of the nearly 9,000 people. The only bridge in and out, now rubble in Ian's wake. It's scary. We got in touch with Diane. She lives on Pine Island and says they have barely received any information. We have had no communication with authorities since this began. So we set out to find people there. Our crew went as far as we could on the mangled bridge before meeting some good Samaritans who helped us the rest of the way. We made it to Matt Lachey, the first of the Pine Islands. I've been here almost a little over 19 years. That's where we met Beth. So you've been hit before. Is Ian worse than other storms oh, you've seen? Tremendously, no comparison, no comparison. Why so? Just the strength of the storm, the surge of the storm. I think they tried to get everyone prepared, but I don't think anyone's ever prepared for something like this. The governor says this tiny fishing island was ground zero for Ian's wrath, and it shows. So, Beth, your house is about 100 feet that way. Correct. Yeah. How, is it, how did it hold up? Well, I, my roof is on, so I guess that's the most important thing. At least nothing's wet from above, but it's definitely wet from below. As we walked, we were stopped constantly. It's terrifying. There has been no communication. Nobody official has come onto the island to tell us what's going on. We don't have places to go. We have no cars to get there. We got in touch with the commissioner for this area. He told us they plan to get bottled water and packaged meals here by the end of the day, and they're working around the clock to restore power. But until then, Ready. for people on Pine Island, this is their only lifeline. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And Blaine joins me now live from the bridge to Pine Island. Blaine, can you give us a look at the conditions there? Well, Jose, this is all that's left of the Matt Lachey Bridge as the tide continues to come in. It's going further and further underwater. And as you can see right back here, that is the only way by car to the island. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis held a news conference here yesterday to underscore just how hard this area was hit. And as you can see around me, that's very true. Many of these homes are a complete loss. Jose. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.